Salut, c'est Madame Hannessy et je suis, je suis ici pour vous préparer pour l'examen de chapitre 1. We have our first big chapter test coming up, so I'm here to prepare you guys for that. Il y a une portion à écouter, a listening portion, une portion à parler, speaking, et aussi il y a une portion à lire, reading. Pour la portion à écouter, il y a quelques phrases auxquelles il faut répondre. So, when you hear a phrase or a question, you need to be able to respond to it, to come up with some sort of logical response. For the sake of time efficiency, I won't be able to have a long, elaborate speaking test with you guys responding out loud to me, so you need to be able to write a logical response to what you hear. So, examples of different Phrases and questions that you might hear in the listening portion include Bonjour Au revoir Comment tu appelles Hennessy? Qu'est-ce que c'est? Qui est-ce? Quel jour est-ce? C'est quand ton anniversaire? Comment tu t'appelles? Tu as quel âge? Et comment ça va? So, all of these words and phrases should be familiar from throughout this chapter. They've all been in your notes. Um, a lot of them showed up in your chapter one speaking quiz, or your chapter one vocab A speaking quiz. So you can refer back to that video for a little bit of extra preparation on that one. Um, others include slightly more broad questions. So you want to focus on what your question words are asking. As a reminder, there are the white question word posters in the classrooms. Um, and overall, you want to work on breaking down the meanings of things. So I went fairly quickly through these. You may need to go back, hit pause, repeat certain little bits and phrases. Um, so that way you'll just be prepared to figure out what each of these questions is saying when I ask it out loud, because you will not have a written version of each question in front of you. So you will just hear a question like, qui est? And then you'll need to write a response to that question. For the speaking portion of the test, I'm going to show you a picture of either a classroom, a backpack, or a school. And I will ask you two very simple questions about them. I will ask you, first off, qu'est-ce qu'il y a? And second off, qu'est-ce qu'il n'y a pas? So, you just need to identify things that are visible in that picture and things that are not visible in the picture. Um, it's using the same vocab phrases that you had in your chapter one vocab B quiz. You had all of that in written form. Um, but be aware that depending on which picture you are shown during the test, which I will be picking at random, you need to be prepared with um, school supplies, classroom items like furniture, uh, different types of desks, windows, doors, that sort of stuff and overall building wide vocabulary. So identifying a middle school, a high school, a library, if there happens to be a coffee shop visible in the picture of the school. Um, so be prepared with just a wide variety of different nouns that there are throughout all of chapter one vocab B. Um, the written stuff for this quiz, make sure that you're reviewing your grammar a lot um, so the written portion is going to be more grammar based make sure that you're able to apply all of our grammatical concepts use the photos that you guys took in class on Wednesday of this week because you took those pictures of the poster study guides that everyone created um, I will be posting some of those photos on canvas you will be able to access those and see the posters made by other class periods while you're reviewing at home um, but overall, as you are preparing for this test, just 
go over the quizzes that you've already taken, go over all of your notes, review the videos that you've already seen. Um, be prepared in case I have a little spelling listening portion. Um, so I may end up spelling some words out loud and have you guys write down different words as, and phrases as we go through. So for example, if I spelled out B-O-N-G-O-U-F, then you guys would need to, where did I put it? You'd need to be able to write bold here because you heard B-O-N-G-O-U-F. Um, but if I do a spelling portion, it'll be spelling actual vocab terms out loud, so you'll have context clues of knowing which chapter we're in, what kinds of words you're going to be hearing spelled out loud to help ensure more accuracy in what you write down. Um, but overall, if you have questions about what to expect on this test, about what certain phrases mean, um, anything, any overall uncertainties that you have about this chapter at this point, first step, I recommend just referring to the notes both in your notebooks and the, the ones that are on Canvas. Try and proofread what you have in your notebooks. Um, and if you don't find out a thorough enough explanation in there, then you want to start asking other people. Um, so you can ask your peers, ask me during class, send me emails or Canvas messages. Um, so try to figure it out on your own, see if you can process it independently, and then start reaching out and collaborating with other people to find the responses that you need. Bonne chance. Good luck.